My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So for dinner tonight, we are having a quick and easy frozen meal. I like to keep stuff like this in the freezer for those nights when I just don't feel like cooking. So we are actually having this Kung Pao chicken from Trader Joe's. Um, I've made this a lot in the past and we both really like it a lot. Kung Pao chicken, as you may or may not know, does have peanuts in it. But if you have someone with peanut allergies or someone that doesn't care for peanuts in their food, they do come in a separate package and I actually um, don't cook the peanuts with this meal. Um, so anyway, I'm just serving it over some white rice or jasmine rice, I should say. And then we're also having a um, chicken spring roll from HEB, which is a grocery store here in Texas. I threw the spring roll box away a long time ago just to make space in my freezer. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am making an oldie but goodie sausage Alfredo, and I am using turkey sausage. Normally, I just use regular beef or pork sausage, but trying to eat a little bit better, so going with the turkey sausage. And as you can see, all I did was just fry it up um, and get it brown. To that, I'm adding two cups of um, heavy whipping cream. And then the recipe calls for one cup of Parmesan cheese. And I'm just gonna use this whole bag, which is a cup and a half. I'm just gonna use all of that. I'm just going to pour it in. And now I'm just going to stir it a little bit and let that cheese melt down. So now I'm adding in one teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. The recipe calls for two teaspoons, but we try to watch our sodium, so I always cut that in half. And now I'm adding in two cups of dried um, ziti cooked. So I'm just, or penne, I'm sorry, not ziti. Dried penne cooked. So I'm just adding that in, giving it a stir, and then I'm gonna let this simmer and that liquid it's just gonna thicken right up for us. Okay, so here's our dinner. And like I said, it thickens right on up. And with it, I am just serving some stir fried broccoli, fresh broccoli, and I just sauteed it in a little bit of olive oil. And then I used this um, mushroom seasoning from Trader Joe's. I've mentioned before how many seasonings that I have in my pantry that I need to use. so. This is what I use tonight. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having this crispy pan pizza. I, uh, it's from Aldi. I threw away the box a long time ago, but it came with a pepperoni pizza and a cheese pizza. So we've already eaten the cheese pizza and today we are having the pepperoni pizza. It really reminds me of the um, Motor City pizza. It is really good. You just cook it in the pan that it came in and that is it. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having grilled pork steaks. I had three in the freezer that I needed to use. Howard grilled them for us. This is the jerk seasoning that we used. I like this a lot. Um, for those of you that don't know, Howard is from Jamaica and this is what he likes. This was actually um, made in Jamaica too, but of course you can get it here. I have found this at Walmart and Kroger. I'm sure they have it at other places, but I'm just showing you what is in the jerk seasoning and it is really good. If you're not into hot and spicy, they just have a regular one as well. With it, I am serving rice and peas. I do have a video on our channel showing how I made these and then I had some coleslaw in the fridge that I needed to use up quickly so I just stir fried it with a little bit of um, garlic salt and seasoning salt. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So I'm getting a little break from cooking tonight. Howard um, picked up some carry out for us from one of our favorite Chinese food restaurants. So start over here, got a large hot and sour soup that Howard and I are going to split. We each got two entrees and they both came with rice. So that's what you see on top. 
And then that sauce is for the dumplings that Howard got. So Howard got some, I think it's called minced pork and string beans, I think. So that's what he got. And then I got Mongolian beef. And then these are the pork and shrimp dumplings. And he got the steamed dumplings. You can get them fried or steamed and he got steamed. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.